Respiratory therapy is one of the top 25 growing professions within the country, and Nova Southeastern University is proud to offer the first Bachelor of Science in Respiratory Therapy program within the state of Florida. The program was accredited in 2014 by the Commission on Accreditation for Respiratory Care. The bachelor's degree allows respiratory therapists to practice as advanced practitioners in critical care units at, with adults, pediatrics, and children. In education, they can be a clinical instructor. They can also do participate in research, which is often underutilized by respiratory therapists. For already licensed registered respiratory therapists, we offer an online completion program so that those practitioners have the opportunity to achieve their bachelor's degree as well. Well, respiratory therapy is an extremely high-tech field. From the time that a respiratory therapist walks into the hospital, they're surrounded by technology. We want our students to have that same experience when they walk onto this campus. They're going to be surrounded by high-tech simulators. They're going to be surrounded by mechanical ventilators of all kinds that they might run into in the hospital. It's important that we expose them to that technology so that they're comfortable when they enter the hospital. We chose to put IMAX uh, to go with Apple products throughout uh, this program. All of our podiums, our laboratories, our faculty are completely Apple-based. The reason we did that is our students are also going to be iPad-based. They're going to have all of their textbooks, their notes, and with the iMac labs, they can remain connected very strongly to their homework, to the technology they need to find the answers, to their laboratory assignments, and that iMac lab will be a central piece to their everyday lab experience throughout their program. IMAX, one of the really important things is that we can not only run Macintosh software, but we also run Windows software. So basically we get two machines for the price of one, but we also let our students experience software that's made for one or the other. We're not limited in our technology. One thing we've done that's very exciting is we've incorporated video conferencing into the classroom, into our conference rooms, and into our simulation suites. That means that our instructors can stay in the conference room while students experience a real life hospital emergency in our simulation suite and they won't be influenced by the faculty. Our faculty can actually watch and communicate with them as needed but their influence won't be over the shoulder of the student. Secondly, in our classroom, we can also watch what's going on in the simulation suites so that our first year students can watch what our second year students are doing in the lab and lastly, and probably most importantly, we can also broadcast specialists from throughout the NSU network to actually teach courses via distance education to our on-campus students. That keeps us from being limited to just the faculty in this particular area. We can use faculty and specialists from throughout the state. An area that we're very proud of is our simulation suites. We have four simulation suites, two adults, one pediatric, and one infant. Now these robots can do everything from blink their eyes to breathe. We can change their heart tones. We can change their breath sounds. They react to medication. They react to our mechanical ventilators. We're able to actually simulate a patient experience for every student that's going to come to this program they will be able to handle emergency situations before they ever touch a real patient. One area of the building that our students will be spending a lot of time is our physical diagnosis lab. Now we want our respiratory therapists graduating from this program to be able to do a complete emergent head to toe examination. We want them to be able to walk into a patient's room and understand what's going on not only with their heart and lungs but the rest of their body. We also, within that diagnostics lab, have the ability to run a full pulmonary function test. Our students will be doing this on each other, which will be exciting because they will know not only what it's like to complete the test on a patient, but actually go through it as a patient. It's not painful, but it is something that will help them understand to better help that patient do the test properly. The room that we're actually sitting in right now is a 10 bed intensive care unit. We have models, anatomical models that students can practice their skills. 
We also have multiple mechanical ventilators throughout this room, not only for neonatal, but for specialties such as oscillating ventilators, jet ventilators, adult ventilators. We have the ability to train students on practically every mechanical ventilator that they will run into during their clinical time in the program. I'm actually a respiratory therapist myself. I completed my training in 1977. It's a long time ago. A lot of the students that will come here weren't even born yet. It's very exciting to see my own profession come to the College of Healthcare Sciences at NSU. We're very proud of what we've done here. Had I had this type of technology and, and equipment to work with as a student, I would have known far more when I took my first job as a therapist. These students are going to have top of the line training. Our accrediting visitors said that they had never seen a program so well equipped and so well prepared to train future respiratory therapists.